Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Dragon Travel. I'm going to show you guys everything and how to use this plugin. Pretty much what it is, is it's actually a really famous plugin and a well-known plugin. And I've been meaning to do a tutorial on this for a while. But anyways, what it is, is your players can travel around on a dragon. So it's like a fast travel except you're flying on a dragon so it has a really cool animation works flawlessly a really really awesome plugin now, there's multiple uses for this plugin. use it to show the new players on your server pretty much your server you can show off your server to the new players that join when they fly on the dragon they can take a look around and just take a look at your server or it can be used for RPG. So enough of this talking, let's go ahead and get started. Just download this plugin, drop in your plugins folder, and then restart your server. So there's two different type of dragon movements. One is travel, and pretty much what travel is, we're gonna have to set stations, and the dragons will travel from station to station. So that is one type of movement. The other type is flight, and what flight is, it's pretty much a set waypoint path. So we're gonna set waypoints, and the dragon will fly through the waypoints that we set rather than what travel is which is from station to station so it's going to sound a little bit complicated but let's go ahead and get started things will clear up once we get started on this tutorial so let's go ahead and create two to three stations for the purpose of this tutorial so to do that just type the command slash dt set stat which is pretty much station for short and then let's go ahead and give the station a name so I'm just going to call this land because this is pretty much an open land. I'm just going to call it that. Hit enter. There we go. We created a station called land. Now let's go ahead and create another station. I'm just going to use this and we're going to call this sky wars. So slash DT set stat. Give this one a name sky wars. So now we have two stations, one right there and one about right there. Let's go ahead and create one last one. And I'm going to use this building as my next station slash DT set stat and then let's give this one the name wood I don't know just wood we're gonna call it that now we have three stations so to test this out we can go ahead and use a command or we can use a sign which I'll show you guys how to set up later so slash DT travel and then the station name so the station name that we want to go to so let's go to Skywars and hit enter alright so we have lifted off we are now flying on a dragon pretty freaking awesome guys and now we're about to land so dragons descending bam there we go we successfully dismounted the dragon really freaking awesome all right and now now that we're up here let's go ahead and create that sign which will allow your players to right click on it and then just travel without typing command so bracket dragon travel close bracket make sure the d and the t are capitalized and then on the second line you're going to type travel because that's the type of movement we're dealing with we haven't touched flight yet and then on the third line, you're going to type the station name. Since we're already on the sky block one, let's go ahead and send this one over to land. And on the fourth line, this one is optional, but you can set a price that will be charged to your players for using the sign. I'm not going to use that. Now if we right click on it, it will send us to land, which is actually pretty much right underneath the sky block one. So not much of a flight here, but nonetheless awesome. And now let's go ahead and create one more sign just to show you guys. So dragon travel, capital D, capital T, if I could type, close bracket. And on the second line, travel, because that's the type of movement. On the third line, let's go ahead and set this one to wood. Hit done. Let's fly. So like I said, this is a really, really awesome and just works perfect. And now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a flight. And like I said, that's a path of waypoints that we're going to set. Let's enter the flight creation mode slash DT create flight. And then let's give this one a name. I'm just going to call this tour. So it's going to kind of tour my server. Hit enter. There we go. Now we've entered the setup mode. And as you guys can see, we only need to type one command. And this will set a waypoint. So we just type that in each time we want to set a waypoint. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So slash DT set WP. There we go. We set our first waypoint. And it's actually used as a block right there. And let's go ahead and kind of loop around. So just type in the same command to set multiple waypoints. And I'm going to kind of ascend up a little bit to kind of give a little tour of this area right here. And obviously you don't have to end where you started at because you want to go from one point to another, not the same point. But it's completely up to you. And there we go. That's pretty much what the waypoints look like. Now what we have to do is type the command slash DT save flight. And that will finish things off for us. 
So there we go. Now we can test it out with slash DT flight and then type the flight name. So tour, and then we can actually type a player's name if we want to send another player on that flight, or we can just leave it blank if we want to send ourselves on that flight. So here we go, we started the tour, and he's following the waypoints just like I said it, and pretty awesome. So yeah, it just works perfectly. Now let's go ahead and create a sign for our flight so our players can now use that. So dragon travel, capital D, capital T in brackets, and then on the second line, you're going to type flight, not travel, you're going to want to type flight, obviously, and then on the third line, you're going to type the flight name, tour, hit done. There we go. And now we're going back on the tour and that is pretty much it for this plugin tutorial oh one last thing i got to show you guys all right so the last thing that we can do is we can actually set a stationary dragon so a dragon that does not move and this could just be used for visual effect so maybe a player just joins your server he sees a dragon all the way over here so if you start to use a lot of stationary dragons you just have them set up on your server your players can easily recognize oh hey maybe if I go over here then I can travel to another point so it kind of lets them know that the location to fly to another station or to use flight mode starts over here so we can type the command slash dt add stat dragon and then give the student name so I'm just gonna call mine Tim bam alright so there we go now we have a dragon called Tim that is pretty awesome so I don't actually have a dragon travel sign, but if I did, I'd place it right next to this guy, just so your players know. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this plugin tutorial. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did and this tutorial did help you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.